Uh, hello, it's Ivan from Clarity. Uh, let's look at how you can create footnotes in your documents and also a few other tricks as regards, say, um, the way you can format them and also if you want to later convert them to endnotes. So let's um, flip over to Word right now and see how we do that. Okay, here we are in Word and I'm going to, I've already created a few footnotes. Um, let me show you here, this guy down here. Uh, so we have footnote one, two, and three, but I'll create another one. So just to go back a little bit, we're in the references tab and you have this footnote section here. I'm going to add in a new footnote. I'll call it the second footnote. But here's where things get interesting. If you click the, um, the corner here, it shows you the footnote and endnote window. And there's a couple of interesting options here. One is um, to do with the location. So you can put the footnote at the bottom of the page or below the actual text itself. You can also, if you want to, convert it um, to endnotes. And what that means is that I'll actually do it and show it to you. So I have four footnotes and we'll say apply. And there you go, they've all moved to the end of the document. So we've, you know, converted them from footnotes to endnotes. And one of the reasons you might want to do that is that say if you have um, an academic document quite often the footnotes are next to the text you're writing so the person reading it can see the reference but if you have for example something like say a kind of a, a sales document quite often it's better to put that information at the end of the document because you don't want to break the reader's momentum as they're going through it so it depends why you want a footnote versus an end note let's go back a few steps here and we're back at the same page here and if we go back to that window again a few other things that are interesting is you can also change say uh, the different columns that's connected to but also more interesting say is the number format so it's one two three at the moment but to make it stand out you could choose a b c or roman numerals and you also have the option to let's change them back to one two three so we can see where i'm going you can change the um the numbering starting but it means that if it goes one two three then you have a new section you can restart it as one again for whatever reason and you have the option here to have continuous numbering so one to a thousand so on or you can also restart the numbering at different sections or different pages now what it means by a section is that if you're creating a word document you can intentionally create a new section for example, if you wanted to change a document from um, portrait to landscape, you might want to break it up that way. And you could change, it means here you have the option here to have different footnotes for different sections, or you can simply change it for each page. So there's a lot of options there, and then you can apply it to just that section or the whole document, whatever you want to. So it's the footnotes and endnotes, and it's in the references tab. Um, play around with it, have some fun. And if you have any questions or get stuck with anything, send me an email or um, talk to us on the Facebook page. So I hope that helped. Um, speak to you soon. Bye-bye.